All right, guys, welcome back to the next installment of wiring harnesses in my hotel room. I don't know what we're up to now, but it's definitely becoming tradition. <laughs> um, so bringing this one up because it is a new one I have not done before. And that's primarily because we did not get this engine in the U.S. as well. This is a similar um, ECU to the BRM in the U.S., but it is for a 16-valve PD 2.0 TDI. So I believe that's around 2006 to 2000, and I don't know exactly, 9, somewhere. It's It's in between... The, it's the late model PD engine before they went to common rail. And being that it's not in the U.S., we didn't get much for diagrams. I did acquire this setup that's a 14-page um, diagram. I forget which which company these are, but I've, I can't lie. I honestly hate trying to read these. It is not very easy to decipher things at least the way I like to think about it but I was able to compare it to the BRM the 2006 um, BRM schematics that I do have access to and I was definitely pleased to see that almost everything matches the the wire colors are all different but the pin to pin diagrams for the the alternator, the crank sensor, the cam sensor, all those things um, seem to match up fine. So um, I would definitely recommend using that. I just, I really like the way everything's traced out here. You can see what sensors you need and what ones you can delete based on tuning. Um, and it's actually pretty interesting to see how similar this is to the 1.9 um, BRM. PD engine so that's pretty pretty nice to see I think one of the honestly biggest differences is it has a completely different plug here for the um, injectors and it has the glow plugs going into the head as well obviously I don't know a whole lot about this engine because I don't have access to them here in the states but the clearly the injectors are inside the head just like the PDs we have here but also the glow plugs are inside as well so not that that matters too much as far as the wiring goes that doesn't get cut or anything and quite a few of the sensors it's it's very similar to my BRM um, harness video and so I would say you could definitely use this along with my PD wiring videos if you need to compare anything there. But basically uh, for a swap tune, we are gonna go ahead and delete it down to the basics. So again, going back to that, that diagram here, obviously you'd have to talk to your tuner about what you can and can't delete, but this will be a map only tune. So we'll go ahead and delete the mass airflow sensor We'll delete the EGR um, and just kind of go down the line. Like I say, this will have just a aftermarket cooling fan, so that will get deleted. Uh, more EGR stuff. You will need... I, I still don't know why um, Volkswagen calls the N75 system and the veins on the turbo a wastegate makes it really confusing because a true wastegate is not the same thing but the wastegate bypass regulator valve also known as the n75 we will need to keep that um these newer edc 16 um variants i guess the the part number is that you U34 and it's just it's different than the older like the BEW and those simple um, early model PDs they um, what was I gonna say now I lost it but 
they these ones have a coolant sensor on the radiator so you'll probably want to delete that you'll need the cam sensor obviously the injectors um, this is the coolant sensor that's on right by the engine and then your RPM your crank sensor and then EGR and turbo vein position will also get deleted just for simplicity there's another the intake flap we'll be getting rid of that and going to just like a race pipe you will need your fuel temperature for tuning and then pretty much everything going to the pedals and the gauges will all get removed the glow plug system you'll want to keep that um, depending on what you're putting this in um, I usually just wire my fuel pump in the tank the lift pump to run all the time just for simplicity so I, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that as well but other than that um, yeah like I was saying the where is it here the the key on wire is 18 this black and blue that is your wake up wire um, just like all my other wiring I go ahead and remove the N7 or the sorry the the 109 circuit that uses the output you send the input into the the ECU and then an output to the N or the sorry the 109 relay and then that powers up the rest of the relay I just really like to simplify it and I go ahead and use a standard 87 or 53 relay and power up all three of the power and the kick on wire as well as any of the sensors that need power I just go ahead and send all of those power at the same time that that 18 over here it would have went along and up there to the the fuse panel and gotten power when the key turned on so that is those those four are the big ones you need to be able to power up the ECU and talk to it and see what sensors you have working and stuff so that's the the ones to remember but going over here to the harness just to kind of show you um, we've got the the map sensor the alternator I just wire that to a 12 volt with the key on that's all that the the Volkswagen wiring needs to see um, the coolant sensor I don't know exactly where that is but this is the factory length on it it goes a little bit past the injection pump plug then moving down you'll have the fuel temperature usually that is right next to the tandem pump I assume this also has a tandem pump like the the 1.9 PD engines and then we've got the cam sensor that was down on the rear main seal of the engine kind of a pain to get to and then the current the cam sensor is up closer higher up there so it's easier to get to and then this is the n75 valve for the wastegate solenoid the turbo controller that's pretty much it out on the engine or near the engine and then you've got your your glow plug module obviously that usually ends up getting cut off so you'll have to run a 50 amp fuse or something to your battery for that and then I have my power to that 53 relay I was talking about that just goes to constant and I pull off of that for another power so it stays on all the time to power up your OBD port so if you plug in a scan tool it can stay hot all the time to save memory on that and then the second fuse here will go to the ECU for those power wires as well as like the N75 valve that has power and this is my key on ignition wire here that just goes right to the relay to kick it on and feed power to everything and then this is just the factory ground wire there um, and so yeah again that has the the OBD port has power and ground constant and then it also has your CAN bus wires and the K-line wire, which those 
come out over here you can see we've got the two CAN bus wires here and then the the K line is pin 72 right here that would have went out to there so data connector link yep that's what we're looking for so that's there and then the only other thing is your throttle pedal there which is all pretty much straight connections you end up getting that cut off because it goes into the cab but you can splice those all back together and then I just saved out a few of the wires for the brake and yeah just the brake signal if you wanted to do some kind of launch control or something on it um, I don't really know anything about cruise control on these newer ECUs that is all CAN bus signal so it's pretty complex to get the cruise control working um, I don't know who you would want to talk to about that but it is a little above my my expertise so I'll probably have to leave you hanging there but anyway this is what your harness would end up like if you pulled it out of one of these cars so for anybody trying to do a 16 valve PD standalone wiring harness this is what what I do and what you can make it look like to do your own so that's what I got for now and thanks for watching hopefully that helps somebody out in a different country because not much use to me here